Hello guys, this is Rishi Chulani with the Dark Knot and today I'm going to show you how to tie a half Windsor knot. Now last time I showed you the four in hand, which is the simplest but it's still a sophisticated tie knot nonetheless. The full Windsor is the most sophisticated and today we're going to do the half Windsor. The half Windsor is best reserved for occasions that are semi-formal. Um, you could wear it in a casual setting as well but they look really good in semi-formal or in a business setting and they look great if you don't want to have that thick knot that the full Windsor does and it's not the most complicated tie knot to tie so I think uh, we should get started. So with the half Windsor knot, again as a rule of thumb you want the amount of fabric that the tie knot is going to consume to be below the waistline because at the end of the day you want the tip of your tie to hit your belt buckle and so the fabric that's consumed by the knot needs to be below the waistline. Now a knot's typically this big but with you know uh, half Windsor you're gonna wrap it around a couple times so you need a little more space so I would have the skinny end of the tie around your one two three four around your fourth or fifth button right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with an X again with the wide end of the tie crossing over the skinny end and what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around underneath once again it's an X over here you're gonna wrap it around underneath once and you're going to bring it through wrap it around underneath once and bring it through. Now you will see up here that this basically creates a triangle. This is the base of a half Windsor. Now you might be wondering why is this called a half Windsor. Well a half Windsor you wrap it underneath and you bring it through once. So you create substance for your knot. The full Windsor as you'll see in our next video wraps around and goes through the tie hole this area twice so it creates even more substance for the knot which is why you get a thicker knot. But anyway, this is pretty good substance and is a great foundation for a knot. So you brought it, wrapped it around underneath once and through. All right, now you're going to wrap it over the base of the knot. Here again, this is what it looks like, the triangle over the base of the knot. Now the white side is to your right hand side. All right, it's gonna come over to your right hand side. Through the loop and through. Again, through the loop and through. And now we're pretty much Done. You slide it through the knot. Again, having a tie knot makes the tie look really great. This is one of our favorite ties here, the dark knot. It's a burgundy, uh, call it Montauk Ducks. This is a fun tie you can even wear in a business setting or in a casual setting. Uh, generally with printed silk ties, you get a slightly thinner knot, but we line our ties well with wool and cotton. So you'll get a nice knot with a printed silk tie as well. So anyway, before I digress, you want to create a nice dimple so it shows you're really well dressed. It's really really sophisticated and takes the elegance level of your ensemble up you know even further up another notch place your finger right below the knot cinch the fabric around it and pull up and you can see the dimple starting to form and you can adjust it by placing your index finger there and folding around it and then just bring your collar over and this is your half ones or not. Thank you, and I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Bye-bye.